How we doing guys? So today I've got something special for you. I've got in front of me probably the four of the hottest watches right now on the market and that's the Rolex stainless steel sports models. So today the four watches I'm going to show you are the stainless steel Submariner Kermit, the stainless steel GMT Master 2 Batman, some people now call it the Batgirl because of the Jubilee bracelet, and also the stainless steel GMT Master 2 Pepsi, and finally the discontinued Submariner Hulk. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna give you a little quick background on, on all the watches, you know, a bit of history on them, uh, considering they're probably the most popular watches around right now and the best for in terms of investment. Uh, I thought it'd be nice to give you guys a bit of an insight to, to, to the uh, models. Obviously first we'll talk about our new watch cases. Just add these in, Trotter's watch cases for all your all my customers that will be traveling around. Uh, you get a free one of these for every purchase. So come hit us up, purchase a watch, you get a free watch pouch. So whenever you're traveling abroad, take your watch with you. So first up, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the GMT Master 2s. The Rolex GMT Master 2. The year it takes to make one is nothing compared to the time it takes to deserve one. So here on my right, I have the Batman, Batgirl. And here on my left, I have the Pepsi. Watch was released in 1955. They released it because 1955 was kind of the era of like Pan Am traveling aeroplanes. So they almost created a timepiece for probably for pilots mainly, so they can keep an eye on two different time zones. The case material, bracelet material is all stainless steel. Uh, the bezel is ceramic. So they've actually made the bezel in ceramic now. So they're almost scratch proof. Uh, well, not scratch proof, don't go whacking your arm against the wall or something, but yeah, they've built the bezel, so the, uh, the ceramic is a, a tougher finish. These two right now, massively, massively in demand. Uh, the Pepsi currently going for 15,500. Uh, current retail is 7,550. So it's more than double its actual retail asking price. The reason why it does go for such high money is because you cannot get these nine times out of 10 straight from Rolex. The Batgirl slash Batman, this one currently goes for 13,500. Again, retail 7,550. So this one is sort of just under double. Um, again, goes for massive premiums because you cannot get these from Rolex ADs. Obviously these two in front of me right now are the Jubilee. Uh, they actually now do the Pepsi on an Oyster which you may have seen with the new releases. And then obviously they've just re-released the Batman on the Oyster strap now. So you can actually get both of these watches on an Oyster strap. I just currently don't have in stock. Next up, we have the Submariners. Again, two very, very popular watches right now. On the right, I have the Starbucks. On the left, I have the Discontinued Hulk. So these two watches, very, very popular watches right now. Uh, the Kermit currently going for 14,500 and the Hulk currently going for 14,000. Both again, near enough, double the retail. Same reason, you cannot get these at retail, hence why the, the, the massive price increase with ourselves. Um, there is a massive, massive waiting list on both these watches, on all these watches in fact. So hence the, uh, the reason of the price. Uh, these watches initially made for divers. So it actually states on the dial, a thousand foot, so 300 meters is the actual limit of these watches. So both of these watches, as you can see, have the, the green from Rolex. Very, very popular color right now. Hence why I think the price has actually jumped up in, in, in these, these in particular models. So there you have it. Uh, the four probably po most popular watches worldwide. Not just my, my favorite watches, probably the most popular watches worldwide. Uh, four stainless steel sports models. Um, as you can see from the past, the price increase has been crazy. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the GMT Master 2's double retailed. 
Uh, the Submarine is exactly the same. Fun fact actually, about five, six years ago, uh, when we were, it must have been what, 2015, 2014 I think it was, um, we actually was owed money from another watch trader. Uh, he owed us 12,000 pounds. He actually offered us free, fully stickered hulks to pay for the bill. But back then, because there was no hype about them, that was the price. I would buy them for 4,000, I'd sell them for maybe 5,000. Um, but yeah, we actually declined it because the, the Hulk wasn't a, wasn't a popular seller back then. So we actually declined him there. So imagine that, could have bought three of these Hulks for 12 grand about six years ago. And we, uh, we decided uh, against it. So I'd have been probably 30 grand better off if I took them. But you live and learn. Definitely, definitely these watches right now are the hottest on the market. Uh, you are going to pay a premium for them. The retail price is only around seven and a half grand mark. So yeah, don't don't get too caught up in R, oh, but Rolex sell them for this and you sell them for this. The reason why you pay the massive premium is because you can physically come and buy one today. Whereas Rolex, you're waiting for minimum, minimum I'd say two, three years. Some ADs aren't even taking waiting list orders anymore. So. Yeah, there you have it. There's a little bit of a background on the on the watches. I thought I'd show you them, let you know that I've got them in stock, so they're ready to go. Uh, if you want some more information on them, on like the years and stuff like that, drop us a message on Instagram now. I'll put our Instagram down below here, at Trotters Jewelers. Hit us up on the DMs, we're on it 24 hours a day. Uh, and make sure you share this video, like it, comment on it, subscribe, tell your friends, Trotters are back.